Hi Pankaj, uh, many many congratulations on this astounding achievement of rank four in the Texas Pediatrics. Uh, just as we were talking this time, the paper was very good. Like unlike previous papers where it was kind of erratic, uh, you know the distribution, the difficulty levels was very haphazard. There was a lot of luck factor that students would feel that is involved. But this time it was a proper paper. Uh, most of the students with respect to the level of exam did feel that this was a paper that tested everyone equally. And what uh, else than getting a single digit rank in such a nice exam firstly. And obviously in any exam getting a rank 4 is amazing. So how did you feel uh, Pankaj first of all? Uh, sir, thank you first of all and thanks to all the to the uh, trio of the doc tutorials pediatrics uh, it, it was a great feeling to have a because i have never uh, dreamt of, of getting a single digit rank after a giving exam i think okay it was a good uh, clinical based question and all of a, uh, although it uh, more of more questions were there from the cardio but rest of the questions were uh, on a clean, very very much on a moderate level or easy to moderate level were there and and a, so, had a good clinical uh, sort of questions not that previously uh, they used to uh, have a one liners or a syndrome based question all of the questions were clinical clinically oriented so it was a overall a, a good exam uh, compared uh, compared to the previous one definitely i think it was it tested not only your knowledge but also your clinical skills so it was a very good yeah, exam. So definitely so please let's let's start with introducing yourself where are you from where did you did uh, how was your academics through your you know academic life uh, i personally belong to uh, patna bihar I did my undergraduate from Ames Patna. I did my uh, UG, uh, UG from Ames Patna and PG from uh, Silchar Medical College, Silchar, Assam. And uh, I completed uh, my post graduation in the year 2023. Then I have a one year bond period that I served and uh, that completed in the month of uh, October 2024. And from uh, November onwards, I was seriously uh, preparing for. Uh, neat ss actually i thought that uh, i started uh, preparing after the neat ss 2023 uh, uh, frankly speaking i i was not that much into that uh, okay i will start preparing during the my md days after only exam only i started okay i have to uh, prepare seriously for the exam so but i thought that i will make up in the uh, yeah, uh, residency uh, yeah, senior resi uh, bond period but it was a bit difficult to uh, yeah, uh, study along with the work so after my uh, bond period get over, then only I seriously started to prepare for the need assess from the month of uh, uh, November 2023, 2024, sorry. And uh, it was a bit of uh, uh, roller coaster ride because sometimes it, it, uh, we feel uh, uh, less motivation or demotivated because uh, after being uh, this much, uh, no, I personally feel that, okay, I do, I need to study uh, uh, this much but the uh, motivation was that okay i i have to uh, be better or i have to go into my uh, dream branch so that motivation kept me along with it sir superb like uh, it's uh, especially with the neat colleges almost all most of the states have bond so it's yes, a little sir. bit difficult especially at this age where you know personal milestones etc coming to the picture so it's lit, it's it's very inspiring from a students and aspirants point of view to uh, you know see someone who's doing the bond at the same time preparing and then you know at the same time not going all out into that preparation kind of mode in your residency because in residency first of all one should become a good yes. general pediatrician if you want to become a pediatric super specialist so that is again a superb uh, you know achievement and an inspiration to all your uh, you know juniors as well uh, and like we at Doc Tutorials obviously have helped you and you are our student and like can you just uh, tell what all did you use like what all uh, help did you take from our side? Uh, sir, I came to know about uh, Doc Tutorials app only in the month of December sir. So um, by that time I have a little bits of notes my prepared sir. So I, uh, I uh, booked for that. Uh, I uh, took the uh, Q question bank and the test series uh, program sir. And so one thing I must thank to your, your team, sir, that the mini test and the allied test discussion was so, so much helpful, sir. And the, and the, and the uh, test and this, and the, all the test series are very finely made from the Nelson and each questions were, uh, and the options and their explanation were from the uh, Nelson line, sir. So it helped me in the preparation as well as in the preparation, as well as in the, uh, in the last month in the re uh, revision part also, sir. 
because in yeah, the residency I'm... days i was not a... because in yeah, residency yeah. days sir i was not able to uh, f- go through the nelson sir in uh, hardly 10 or 15 topics i had studied from the nelson i uh, in our residency we used to study P- dr pius gupta sir uh, post graduate test of, uh, textbook of pediatric so i i had not gone through any point of uh, nelson so when i started uh, preparing the mcq so that at that point of a time i, I it it is stri- strike me that okay i have to go some topics i have to go through the line by line of the nelson so at that point sir a uh, yeah, doctor tutorials q bank test series helped me a lot to uh, cover those uh, nelson topics sir yeah when we started our module preparation we kept students who come after residency in mind when through the residency it's more important to look at your clinics look at your you know uh, you know uh, your clinical scenario based which dr sandeep sir is taking care of but with respect to our neat ss module our main focus was on the latest nelson editions especially our q bank which the latest nelson edition we have used and made it and obviously i think you would have used our mini tests in elites where we primarily okay. focus on neat ss topics only we are not going to you know cover the entire thing entire theory which is not required uh, so that is what were uh, what our aim was and uh, i'm really happy that it helped you and the last, uh, the last question bank was very much helpful sir uh, the one question i remember that that cyclophosphamide drug toxicity was a direct uh, direct words in and direct uh, options were there so a lot of question i think that 10 to 15 question i thought that okay this is from that new modules that i solved in the doctor tutorials in the la- last one so that helped uh, that had given i think a, a bit extra is in my uh, examination day sir yeah i think i should firstly commend you because we got a little bit late in coming up with that module i think we came up with that module just around one to two months before the exam and we yes, hoped sir. that students uh, do that because we worked a lot on that particular module because because we came a little bit late we were kind of thinking maybe or maybe not but so so happy that you know students such good students like you are could do that module and could use that module to get a great rank so that it helped a lot credit to you only like uh, it's it's one thing to give the material but everybody knows it's the student who has to do the work and you know put in the efforts uh, so all credit to you uh so what would you tell your juniors especially uh, especially i think you would be the best person to guide from someone who's doing a bond like you know as you said it's not very easy like although you might have free time but it's not easy to get that motivation right so yes, that perspective and also through the residency what would your advice to your juniors be in general uh sir my first advice sir uh, is that at least during the residency period if somebody is having a little getting a little bit of a time this must go to the uh, through uh, through the nelson at least some of the topics which were given nicely or according to the uh, after uh, viewing the videos of doc tutorial they can easily uh, understand the topic of the nelson so they must go through the nelson even during the residency period because in this question i have seen that most of the question 80 to 90% question the, they have picked up the lines from the nelson even the options were were the the uh, copies uh, copied from the nelson so nelson is the is a core, core for the management a core for the yeah, preparation so somehow they man somehow yes, they should manage to study nelson in the residency period and during the bond period it is little bit difficult but you have but we have to manage for our aim and uh, and to be consistent uh, we can't uh, have a preparation in a two month or if we are consistent then it will have a good good age in our bond period also so that in the end of two or one or two months we can skip through all the uh, videos or and all the uh, bank if we are consistent throughout our bond period sir sure i think yeah definitely especially with respect to pediatrics there is only one standard you know gold standard or bible yeah. as you can say bhagavad gita as you can say of the preparation and that is nelson and that should not be ignored if if possible as much as possible we should read our i know it's hectic but through our residency also we should read as much as possible of nelson yes, is whatever yes. we are reading try to get that reading yes, in nelson so even if we are getting time i will i must suggest that if we must read even in the during the bond period also sir it is very helpful either either for the clinical practice uh, clinical even in the clinical practice it is very helpful although it is helpful in the exam but in the clinical practice the nelson uh, the uh, 
ये कॉन्सेप्ट एंड द मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस इट इज हेल्प इट इज हेल्पिंग अ लॉट इन द क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस आल्सो सो वी मस्ट गो थ्रू द नेल्स एंड इवन इवन वी डिडंट गो थ्रू इन आवर आवर रेसिडेंसी पीरियड सर डेफिनेटली लाइक व्हेन वी इवन व्हेन फॉर एग्जांपल यू आर सिटिंग इन एन ओपीडी एंड अ पेशेंट कम्स यू हैव टू हैव दैट thing right you have to think that okay i had read this in that particular page in that area and you have to recollect that and uh, what better book than nelson to have that as a basic source right so and uh, like uh, i know that you are the center stone center stage of your success but there will be others like your family or friends etc like anybody who, would, who you would like to thank before we uh, take leave uh, sir first of all i will thank to uh, my parents sir they have supported a lot uh, during my whole journey sir and to the almighty and my ug and the pg friends they have also kept me motivated during this uh, preparation phase so i will thank to my ug and the pg friends sir and thanks to the sir uh, doc tutorials team sir you aditya sir and sir ma'am also that uh, you helped a lot even your uh, even in the group also you uh, if, if anyone had asked question you will reply quickly so that most of the uh, your doubt have been uh, when done in the few minutes of a few hours of a time whenever you people are free you 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 people even provide all through all those materials all through the new updates that will be help that would have been helpful in upcoming exams and 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 the last sir that uh, previous year questions paper, paper were also very much helpful to go through the all the important question that you have discussed of the 2022 and 2023 sir that was very much helpful sir so thanks to the doctor tutorials team sir thank you so much for your kind words but uh, yeah like again many many congratulations on this amazing rank uh, have you thought about any you know particular field of interest as you were saying you have a dream you had a dream to achieve and you obviously have achieved it uh, any specific you know uh, branch you had in mind sir uh, uh, sir uh, i am basically planning for sir uh, pediatric intensive care sir great like uh, it's a it's a especially me coming from pgi we had a lot of exposure in critical yeah. care and it's one of the very you know gratifying branches yes it will be hectic but at the same time yeah. gratifying as well so all the best on your journey on becoming a pediatric intensivist uh, a great choice again so thank you thank sir. you for talking to us all the best pankaj thank you sir